I started with Morton Buildings in April of 1984. Um, I had an uncle that worked here. My father had been in construction. It was, I always watched my uncle when we got the family get-togethers. He seemed like he was always happy with his job. He enjoyed it. Um, I knew him and my uncle and my aunt had went on a lot of the previous Morton trips. He'd made a life out of that. He had transferred from one office location to another. And I was out of high school, didn't really have a job. My father's business was slow. I come on to work with Morton and kind of learned the ropes and got to like it. And things just kind of progressed from there. I worked with my uncle for two or three years and he moved over into sales and the opportunity came for me to become a foreman. And I just took it and been here ever since. people you meet, the customers, I, I am intrigued by the people. I've watched the customers, you know, used to be you dealt with all the farmers. They were just amazed with what you could come in and do. Today's people, they've evolved more. They, mo they know more about our product a lot of times than we actually do. Especially if it's, like we say, if it's their dream, they're looking at, you know, they want this all along. They've got on the websites, they've looked at everything. They know what we're providing them. They know it as well as the crew foreman does. Um, I'm intrigued by how the people act, how they are. See them smile, have a nice face. You know, they're pleased, they're tickled to death with it. It upsets me when, you know, now I'm in the supervision, you have to go back on some of the customer complaints. Those issues happen, but we're, we're working towards that with the quality and some of the issues. We're trying to get stress back out into the field. Attitude, you've got to have a good attitude. Um, you've got to be patient. You've got to listen to all sides of it. You know, you have to form your own opinion, but you have to listen to all sides. You know, you have a customer, you have a corporate procedure that you have to follow, you have a cruise idea, you know, you've got a sales consultant's idea. Those all need to work together. You want them to know that, you know, we're not just about completely working all dead serious all the time. We are going to have some fun somewhere along the lines. We're going to have some fun. You've got to learn to release that energy. Otherwise, you're just going to be a humdrum person. You're not going to be any fun to be around. At the same point, you don't want to hire someone that they're all about fun because there is a serious side to our business. 